In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome interactive dashboard in Tableau. I can click on any chart in the view and everything filters. I've got my filters down the left-hand side, but also a parameter to allow the user to pick a metric. And one big thing I'm gonna teach you here is how to master containers in Tableau. Let's get to it. There's links to the two data sets I'm using in the description. One is for the soft drink sales data and the other is for the maps. In the connection window, choose more. Pick the soft drink sales data set and click on open. Now we wanna bring it together with the map that I showed. To do that, we wanna add a second connection and choose a spatial file. I'm gonna pick the one that says US, Alaska, Hawaii states. Click on open. Now when you download that spatial file, make sure you unzip it. That's gonna create a folder that's gonna have lots of different files in it. Make sure you leave all of those files in there. They're all needed to work together. Drag the state file over to the right-hand side, and this brings up our relationship window. Down in the bottom left, we need to establish our relationship. In the soft drink sales data set, we're gonna choose customer state. In the spatial file, we're gonna choose name. Great, but let's now look at these performance options to make sure that we're using the relationship as effectively as possible. In the cardinality for the soft drink data, it says values in the customer state aren't unique, or you don't know. Well, that's correct. We have multiple states for multiple customers, so let's leave that alone. In the mapping data, we only have one row for each state, so all of those are unique. So let's change this to one. In the referential integrity, we're gonna leave these both as some records match because there could be some records in either of the data sources that don't have a match. Now that we're good with that, we can go to our sheet. Let's have a look back at our dashboard. We've got a line chart, a map, and two bar charts but we have this option over here to allow the user to pick a different metric. We're gonna do that with a parameter. Let's first build our map. Double click on the geometry field and drag customer state to the detail shelf. Now when you hover over any mark, you'll see the state. Right click in the background of the map and choose background layers, and then wash that out all the way to 100%. Right click in the window again and choose format, and let's get rid of our row and column dividers. Those are the gray borders that go around the outside of the map. Set the row divider to none and the column divider to none. Close your formatting window. Now let's build the parameter that allows the user to pick the metric. Create a new parameter. Let's call this choose a metric. The data type is string and we want to allow a list. The first option is revenue. The second option is profit. The third option is units sold. And the last option is cost of goods. Now, if it feels like I'm going too fast, don't worry. You can pause the video along the way. Click on OK. Right click on that parameter and choose Show Parameter. On the parameter on the right hand side, I'm going to change it to be a single value list to make it easier to pick the option that I want. Now that I have the parameter, I'm going to create a calculated field to tell Tableau which values to bring back based on the metric they choose. Create a new calculated field. I'm going to call this Metric Selected. My calculation is case, and I want to evaluate the choose a metric parameter. When the user picks revenue, then I want to bring back the revenue field. When the user picks profit, then I want to return the profit field. When they choose units sold, then I want to return units sold. And lastly, when they pick cost of goods, then I want to return cost of goods, end. Click on OK, and let's drag that to the color shelf. And now, as we flick through our different metrics, we can see the map change as we'd like. Perfect. While we're here, let's go ahead and clean up our tooltip. Click on the tooltip shelf. In the first line, I'm going to just have the customer state. In the second line, I'm going to replace the metric selected text by going up to Insert, and I'm going to insert my parameter. Untick Include Command Buttons, and Allow Selection by Category. Click on OK, and now when you hover over, you can see Montana and Revenue. If I change it to Unit Sold, you're now going to see the state name and Unit Sold. Perfect. Let's rename this sheet our map. If I look back over at the original dashboard, we have a bunch of filters on the left-hand side too. So why don't we go ahead and add those now? We have Quarterly Purchase Date, and then Filters for Category, Company, and Region. Drag Purchase Date to the filters, 
It doesn't matter what you pick here because we're going to change it. Click on next and then click on OK. Yes, the map has gone blank. Don't worry about it. Right click on the field on the filter shelf and choose continuous quarters and then click on OK. Right click on that filter and choose show filter so it pops up on the right hand side. Now we can drag this filter left and right and we can see the map change. Going back over to our dashboard, anytime they change the purchase date, we want it to impact everything else in the dashboard. So to do that, we need to right click on the filter and choose apply to worksheets, all using this data source. Now we want to show filters for category, company, and region. Right click on the category field and choose show filter. Right click on the company field and choose show filter. Now we don't have a region field to show, so we're going to build that. Create a new sheet, double click on geometry and add customer state to the detail shelf. What we're going to do now is create custom regions. On the map, we want to choose the selector and then the blob tool. Let's pick the states that are on the west. Make sure you include Alaska and Hawaii and then click on the paper clip to group them. Next, let's pick the states in the south. I'm going to go from North Carolina over to Oklahoma and Texas and down around Florida and group those. Next, I'm going to pick the states in the northeast. Lasso over all of these. Make sure you don't miss out on Rhode Island and group those. And then lastly, we're going to group together all of those that we want in the central region. Great. So now we have a new field in the data pane. Let's right click on that and choose edit group. First, we're going to rename it as region. And now we just want to rename each of the groups. So the first one, since it has Alabama, that's going to be the south. The second one has Alaska, so let's rename that as the West. The third group is the East. And the last group is the Central. Click on OK. Now let's go back over to our map, right click on that region field, and choose Show Filter. Perfect. Now we have everything we need for the left hand side of the dashboard. Let's create our big numbers going across the top. Create a new sheet. Drag revenue to the text shelf. Drag profit on top of the numbers until you see show me. Drag units sold onto the measure value shelf. And lastly, drag cost of goods sold onto the measure value shelf. Now I'm going to rearrange these and drag profit below revenue. Over in our finished dashboard, our metrics are going left to right. So we need to move measure names from the rows to the columns. And I'm going to duplicate measure names onto the text shelf. Click on the text shelf and then the three dots, and let's do our formatting. So first, we want to move measure names to the second line. And let's make that maybe like an 11 point font. The measure values, I'm going to make that, let's say 18 point, and make it bold. Click on OK. And the alignment, let's set it to center horizontal and center vertical. Now we don't need our headers. Right click on measure names and uncheck show header. And I also don't want my row dividers. Choose Format from the menu at the top and choose Borders. In the Row Divider, set the pane to None. And there we go. Our big numbers are now done. So rename that sheet as Bands. Next up are our two bar charts. One is by Product and one is by Customer. Create a new sheet. Drag Product to the rows and our metrics selected to the columns. Sort Descending. Edit the axis at the bottom and get rid of the title. Right-click on the header above Product and choose Hide Field Labels for Rows. We can rename this sheet Product. Right-click on this sheet and Duplicate. Take Customer Name and replace Product, and then Sort Descending. Rename this sheet as Customer. Now notice we don't have all of our filters on the filter shelf. That's because I messed up a bit. I'm going to go back to my map. I forgot to take these three additional filters and apply them to everything in the data source. So right click on category, go to apply to worksheets, all using this data source. Right click on company, apply to worksheets, all using this data source, and then do the same thing for region. Apply to worksheets, all using this data source. Now when I go over to the other sheets, all the filters show up. All right, one more thing to do, and that's to create our line chart. So this looks like it's by month. Create a new sheet, right click and drag purchase date to the columns, and choose continuous months. Click on OK. Drag metrics selected to the rows. Double click on the axis on the left hand side 
and remove the title. Double click on the axis at the bottom and remove the title. Rename this sheet as our line chart. Now let's go through each of those four sheets and update the titles. Go back to your map, double click on the title. I'm going to center align it, remove what's in there, and I'm going to first enter my choose a metric parameter. And I'll just type in by state. So now it says units sold by state. If I change my metric to revenue, it'll now say revenue by state. Over on our bands, we don't need to change anything there because we're not going to show the title. On the product page, let's again center align it, and then we're going to insert the parameter, and this is by product. Click on OK, go to our customer sheet, center align. We're going to insert a parameter, choose a metric by customer. Lastly, go to your line chart, insert the parameter, and then by month. Again, I know that I'm going fast, but I trust that you know how to pause the video along the way. Okay, we have all of our sheets done. Let's now look at how we're going to manage this with our containers. First off, we have this one container going all the way around the outside. And then across the top, we have a container that contains both our title and our big numbers. We're gonna have another container for the two charts on the right, another container for our two charts on the left, and then another container to hold our filter and controls and down the left. And one more that's going to cover all of these charts and containers at the bottom. Let's go back out of a Tableau and create a dashboard. I'm gonna make it 1200 wide and let's say maybe 700 tall. Doesn't matter, we can change that later. I'm gonna delete the phone layout. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that very outside container. I'm gonna float in a vertical container and I'm gonna start that at the position zero, zero, so the upper left corner. And then I wanna make sure that it's the same size as the dashboard. So 1200 by 700, great. Now I'm gonna bring in a blank and I do that just to make it easier to drop other containers into the view. Across the top, we're gonna to have a horizontal container. That's gonna contain a text box, which is our title. So let's call this our uh, KPI dashboard. Let's maybe make it a nice big font, black and bold. And then next to that KPI, I wanna have my bands. So drag that to the right into that same horizontal container. Right click on the band title and choose hide title. And let's make this a bit wider. So edit the width and let's make it maybe 700. Double click on the header for that to grab the container. And let's edit the height to make it 100. Choose the KPI sheet and change the view to fit entire view. If I go back to our completed dashboard, we've got this nice blue background. So select this container across the top, go to the layout tab and change the background to whatever color you like. Now notice my text is now white. So I'm gonna double click on my text and change it to white. And I need to change the background of my sheet. So choose my sheet, choose format on the menu and shading and set the worksheet to none. Go to the font option and set the worksheet to white. Great. So that's all done going across the top. Now let's build out this middle section. Go back to your dashboard tab and drag in a horizontal container inside of that original vertical container. I'm going to grab that blank I had before and drag it into that container. Again, I'm just using that as a placeholder. We want to put a vertical container inside of that container. And that vertical container will contain our map and it's going to contain our customers. We're going to drag in another vertical container to the left of that one. And that's going to contain our line chart. And it's also going to contain our products bar chart. Now we've got this extra space over here from our blank. Let's leave that there. But notice in the background, we can see some check marks and things. Those are all of the filters and controls that we set up in our state map. So go to the layout tab and go to the very bottom of the item hierarchy. And you'll see it says tiled. Open that up and then open up the horizontal and scroll down until you get to the vertical container. Right click on that container name and choose floating. Now these are all of our controls. Hold the shift key down and drag it over to the left hand side so that it fits inside of our original horizontal container. Take that blank now and move it between those controls and the charts. We're gonna use this as a divider line. So edit the width of our blank 
and set it to 10. In the Layout tab, set the background to whatever color you like. Now I want that line to touch the color at the top, so I'm going to uncheck all sides equal in my outer padding, set the top to 0, the left to 10, the right to 10, and the bottom to 0. Just adding a bit of spacing. In your controls on the left hand side, format them any, any way you'd like. For me, I went ahead and I added 10 pixels of outer padding around all of them. So just keep going through them all until you get all of your padding added. The only one I want to change the title of is my quarter purchase date. So right click on that and choose edit title and just call it quarter. I'm going to center align that one. Click on OK. And I can rearrange these if I want. So I could put the quarter at the top and then maybe they choose a metric and so on. Great. So now we're pretty much done. All I want to do now is add my interactivity. So if I go back over to the original, if I click on a state, everything readjusts. If I click on a month, everything adjusts. If I click on a product, everything adjusts. But when I click on a customer, nothing happens. OK, so to set that up, I'm going to choose my line chart. And I'm going to choose the little use as filter option. Click on the revenue by state and choose use as filter. Revenue by product and use as filter. Now let's give the filters a test and see that they all work. And it looks great. OK, so we're all done. There you have it, our nice interactive dashboard. There's a link to this final version in the description. Feel free to download that and look at the additional formatting I did to get it to look just like this. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave me a comment and tell me which part you liked best. And while you're there, go ahead and like the video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any content I create. Thanks for watching.